I'd like to show you a quick overview of Exploring Creation with Mathematics Level 3. Level 3 corresponds with what you would consider a traditional third grade year of math. Most kids will take about one year to complete one level. There are two books for every level of this series. You'll need to purchase a spiral bound student book. This contains all the hands-on activities, the lessons, and the practice pages. Your child will write right on this book and it is consumable. Then there is a teaching guide answer key. This is the book I wrote for you, the parent. It has all the answers put right onto thumbnails of the practice pages so you can check really quickly. I actually have my kids check their work themselves. There's also notes on every lesson. There's a suggested pacing guide where you can check off how far you've gotten in the book. The back of this book has all the tear out pages that you need for the activities as well as the game boards for the board games. Okay. Um, you can also print those pages off of the book extras website if you need extra copies. Most of the items that you need to do the activities are common household items. We actually have online a complete list of everything you'll need. So you can look at that before you purchase, but there are a few math specific items that I want to show you now. So you will need linking cubes. These will be familiar to you. If you use level one or level two, snap together, base 10 blocks, this is a set of blocks that represent place value. This is the thousand cube. This is the hundred flat, There's 10 rods and unit cubes. You're also going to want your pattern blocks. You don't have to buy the magnetic board. You just need these blocks. They fit together really cool and they demonstrate a lot of great math concepts. Those will be familiar to you if you use previous levels. There's one new thing to buy this year for level three and that is fraction tile. They come in a bag like this. These are super cool. They show kids fractions. So this is one whole, and then the one half fits together to make one whole. Also, you're going to want multiplication and division flashcards. You can make those yourself, or you can decide just to purchase some. Exploring creation with mathematics follows a really well-researched approach to teaching mathematics, and that is the concrete pictorial abstract approach. So every time kids learn a new concept like multiplication, they are going to use hands-on items first, then they'll work with pictures of that concept. And finally, they're going to learn the math symbols and the numerals to represent it with mathematics. This program is also a blend of the mastery and the spiral approaches of learning mathematics. So each chapter will focus on a specific topic like multiplication and kids will layer their learning in that topic as they move through the chapter. But there's also a spiraling skills practice. So every day kids take five to 10 minutes to review a previously learned skill to really master that and get um, you know, into their long-term memory. Start by taking a look at the teaching guide answer key. So the first thing you'll notice when you open this book is that we have provided a suggested pacing guide for you. It follows a four day week in case you have a co-op day or you just need a great day. I love four day weeks. <laughs> it takes 30 weeks to finish this level in a year following that four day week. Each day on this pacing schedule, we tell you what lesson to do and also the skills practice for that day. So here kids are doing lesson 59, but they're also gonna take five to 10 minutes to practice telling time. As you go through the book, it will specifically tell you how to practice those skills. This is an overview of the philosophy of the book. Each unit starts with a list of supplies that you need for that unit. Here's the unit one skills practice described in detail. So I've listed the skills that your child's going to practice. And then for each skill, there's a variety of options. There's a game that you can play. There's things you can print off the Books Extras website. You can do note card facts. So there's always gonna be a variety so that you can find something that works well for you and your child. We have thumbnails of all the practice pages with the answers laid right on top of them. And then here's the next unit skills practice. When you get to the end of all these answers, you will find the tear out pages that you need for the activities in the student book. So all of those are back here. Sometimes they're things that you cut apart. Sometimes it's a game board, that type of thing. The last page is a complete list of all the supplies for the year. So you can actually even view this online if you want to look at that before you start um, the program. 
The student book, your child will work through cover to cover. The science connection for this level is flying creatures. We had so much fun incorporating birds, butterflies, and bats, because I love bats. Third grade is all about multiplication. That's kind of the heart of third grade. But let's look at the table of contents quickly here. So we're going to start with addition and subtraction within a thousand. That's mainly a review of level two. Then we're going to do a whole unit on multiplication, followed by a unit on division. It's organized that way on purpose because multiplication and division are related. So it's really helpful to learn them together. Everything in this unit actually mirrors what they did in this unit so they can see those connections. Then there's a unit on data and measurement. Then we have more multiplication and division. This is where they work to learn more of their facts than fractions. And finally, geometry. Okay, let me show you a typical unit so you can kind of get a sense of how the unit flows. But I do want to show you, before I do that, one thing that's new at this level is we've now added chapter reviews. So this is the last page of chapter six, and it's a review of some of the concepts there. So those are now included at the end of every chapter. If you use the lower levels, you'll know that this is new for level three. So let's take a look at unit... Uh, Unit two, which is introduction to multiplication. So we start with a short devotional talking about how multiplication, like all things in creation, points us to God and shows us things about his character. Then the first chapter introduces the concept of multiplication with a lot of concrete and pictorial representation. See how they're picturing what's happening. And then we're gradually moving kids into the abstract world of mathematics. So you'll start seeing more numerals and the multiplication symbol. Equal groups. So the activities are just really keeping things concrete for them. Coloring pages for review. Chapter four then is multiplication facts and practice. So they've had lots of conceptual, you know, layers in the last chapter. And now they're really just starting to practice multiplication. When you get to the end of a unit, there's always a project. For this one, it's selling lemonade. So they have to use multiplication to figure out the cost of different amounts of glasses of lemonade or bags of cookies. All right, I want to show you also just one lesson because most of the lessons follow the same flow. So we'll just jump ahead here. This is a lesson on fractions. The first thing your child would do is an activity with pattern blocks to model different types of fractions. Then that goes right into the content that they're learning about fractions in the lesson. So it goes activity, lesson, and then they are going to practice what they learned in the practice. And then that would be one day and the next day starts with another activity. So it almost always follows that flow where you have an activity and then a lesson and then the practice. You can find um, more information on this level on the Apologia website.